Fantastic. We know Frank's made a, uh, a new commitment to striking, and I think you saw that tonight. Uh, he's really putting it in seriously. I think the time off that he took really played a role. And the same for Andre. I mean, Andre's in a great camp down there with Jackson. So all the guys that you talk to talk about how renewed he is in his focus and his dedication. So the heavyweight division is really, really interesting right now. Obviously, Verdun's our champion. Kane's on the comeback trail. You have Steve Bay, Ben Rothwell, Andre Olofsky, Frank Mears right back in the picture. It's a really, really fun division right now. It's been an interesting ride. Uh, just making sure that I fix my mistakes. My fight against Michael Johnson uh, really wasn't prepared for that. But that set a fire underneath me to make sure that everything else was pretty set up for him. This fight, I didn't really have to throw too many punches. I cut him up pretty good with elbows. And I knew he was going to be a crafty vet, so I just had to keep up on my toes. I let a little bit more out there this time than the, you know, my UFC debut, but I always strive to want to do more. And uh, I wish I would have gone forward and been a little more aggressive, a little sooner in the fight. Well, I mean, I've been boxing in the gym with professional boxers. So I've been seeing shots come at me and see things absorbing a lot of things and I'm learning how to move with the shots, absorb power, and how to redirect it. I was trying to be more intelligent, but uh, today my emotion got the better of me leading up to the fight. And uh, I just bit down my mouthpiece and wanted to make a statement that, you know, I, I kept turning old and crafty, so I guess I was kind of dumb tonight and I just decided to show young and brash. So that's kind of what I asked Dave earlier. I mean, this is kind of like the everything old is new again, heavyweight division in the UFC with you and Andre Arlovsky guys we thought were kind of, you know, maybe past their prime and you're proving that we, a lot of us were wrong. Yeah, I think uh, heavyweights mature later in life. You, know, you see even college wrestling and whatnot. You don't see a lot of freshmen in the heavyweight division becoming NCAA champions like you do in the other weight classes. So I think that you see it uh, a lot of times that we come upon ourselves older. And, uh, you know, now with my new training, I mean, Ricky Lindell is going to take over as a head coach. Uh, I have a booklet at the beginning of camp, all of us do explain exactly what we're going to do each day of the camp, eight weeks out. Why, photos of what Todd was doing in his past fights, percentages, that's why he named him Moneyball. Then with Angelo Reyes as a boxing coach, has really rejuvenated my, uh, my thirst of really learning boxing, going into the boxing gyms and sparring boxing with boxers, not trying to use MMA and sit there and go, well, I'm going to do this, which now I think I need to do a little more MMA sparring also, because tonight I kind of reverted just into pure boxing. I threw a couple of these and I actually felt a little awkward throwing them because in practice I've been so boxing. But then it paid off in the end. I saw him really winging the punches and so I just stepped back and loaded my left hand. Pacquiao type overhand left and just caught him. And so, uh, you know, like I said, with the people I have around me, I'm feeling rejuvenated. I have great training partners that show up every day. James Ward, Tom Price, Zach Singer, a college player, the UNLV, 310 pound monster, you know, laying on me all the time. You know, and then going in there, you know, Don House allowed me to work with his boxers. Uh, and spar with them. That's a huge privilege going there. Roy Jones Jr. is in the corner watching, you know, after I spar match out some Vince advice. So I guess I just keep it to where I'm still very youthful, very much of a kid and love joy, enjoy learning. Um, everybody can see that even after 14 years in the UFC, I'm constantly trying to improve. I think a lot of guys sit back on their merits and just, yeah, I have records, I'm getting the Hall of Fame. What more? I don't know. I'm not satisfied with that.